Today, we're going to get started with a Monte Carlo simulation using a set of data from a frequency distribution. So let's go ahead and get started. Here you can see that we have an example that says for the past 50 days, the daily sales of laundry detergent in a large grocery store have been recorded to the nearest tenth. So you can see the category of units sold. So there were 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70. And then the number of times that this laundry detergent has been sold, you can see in column M here. So we're going to use this frequency distribution to create a Monte Carlo simulation and simulate 10 days of sales. So our first step here would to create would be to create the relative frequency. And so the relative frequency is going to be the percentage of each number of times that this happened over the total. So in order to calculate the relative frequency, which is also known as the probability of this happening in this data set, we need the total number of times that this has occurred to create the relative frequency. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say it's eight divided by the total. So that's my relative frequency, 16% or 0.16. And I'm going to do that with each of my variables or I'm sorry, each of my categories here. So let's calculate the relative frequency. And I'm just gonna have two digits so that way I can look, um, more aligned. And now I'm going to sum the relative frequency. The sum of my relative frequencies should equal one or 100% because the sum of the individual probabilities or relative frequencies should equal one. So if you have any number greater than one, then you're probably doing something incorrectly here. So that's our first step is to calculate the relative frequency. So let's take it to our next step. Our next step here is going to be to create a cumulative frequency. So we're going to need this in order to uh, start the simulation. Now, this might not make sense yet, but you'll see how this ties into our Monte Carlo simulation process. So we're going to have the cumulative frequency. So in our first cell, the cumulative frequency is just the 16% or the 0.16. Let me make these the same. Okay, so the 0.16. Now, the next row down, it's actually going to be the sum of this value plus whatever value we had above. So I'm going to continue to do that all the way down to the bottom. And my last number should equal one or 100% because by the time I get down to the very last row, I have captured 100% of my data. So my relative frequency, and now I'm just doing a counter, which is my cumulative frequency. So we've completed the relative frequency for part A. And then now it's asking us to suppose that the following random numbers were obtained using Excel. So they want us to use these random numbers and then uh, simulate the 10 days of sales. So we're gonna use those random numbers in our simulation. And now I'm going to create a column here and I'm going to call it my, let's call it my lookup table. I'll say it's my lookup frequency table. And what this is going to be is this is going to be the lower end of the range of values for the cumulative frequency. So for example, this first cumulative frequency runs from zero to 16% or zero to 0.16. So I'm going to do the lower end of that range. So I'm going to say 0.00. Now, when we, when we start on the next aisle or in the next row, this one theoretically goes from 0.16 to 0.40. So I'm going to put the lower end of that value here. And then the next row, theoretically speaking, incorporates all of the values from 0.40 all the way up to 0.70. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that value in here, 0 0.40. And let's make these values all look the same format. And my next row, my next row 
starts at 0 0.70 and goes all the way up to 0 0.90. So I'm gonna make that one 0 0.70 because I'm making the lower end of the range. And then finally, my last value goes from 0 0.90 all the way to point or all the way up to the value of one. So 0 0.90 is my lower end of the range, my lookup frequency range. And I'm going to need this as part of my uh, V lookup that I'm going to use to simulate my um, number of, of sales. So what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna copy this lookup frequency. I'm just gonna paste the values here. I'm gonna use, since that's my lookup table and I just wanna keep the same format. And then I'm going to say, okay, well, how many units are sold? How many units are sold associated with this lookup frequency? So basically I'm just copying this column here over to the end so that I can match it together. And now I'm going to put the random numbers that were generated. So Excel random. So these were the numbers that are given to me in part B. It says, assume that you have the following random numbers were used to obtain in Excel. So actually, let me move this. And I'm going to say, here are my Excel random numbers. And I have 10 of them. So these are going to be my simulations. So I have 0 0.12, 0 0.96, 0 0.53, 0 0.80, 0 0.95, 0 0.10, 0 0.4, 0 0.45, 0 0.77, and 0.29. And again, let me just go ahead and format these random numbers. So we're going to use these random numbers basically to generate 10 simulations. So these are 10 trials. We can say that these are 10 trials, for example. Okay, and now all of this is, should come together for you now. So here is the, going to be the simulated sales in this column. So let me go here, copy that format. We'll just do that here. So my simulated sales are going to be using a VLOOKUP formula. So I'm going to say VLOOKUP. So let's look up this random number that was generated. And I'm going to use this set of data here. And I want the second column. And so now for a frequency of 12 or 12%, 12 that would say that we are going to simulate 30 units sold because uh, it's between 0 and 0.16. And we're just going to copy that formula all the way down to the bottom and you can see what our simulated sales are for the uh, 10 days. Now, if you wanted to calculate the average, you can calculate the average of the similar simulated sales by just taking simply the average of that data set. So now you probably understand why we needed this lookup frequency, why we needed the cumulative frequency, because the lookup frequency relies on the cumulative frequency. The cumulative frequency relies on the relative frequency. So that's all connected. So we've just simulated 10 days of sales using the Excel random numbers that were generated for us or were given to us in this example. And that is how you can do a Monte Carlo simulation within Excel using a set of frequency, a, a set of data, creating the frequency, the relative frequency, the cumulative frequency, and all of the other values with a VLOOKUP table, and then you have your simulated uh, sales information in this example. Okay, I hope this was helpful to you. See you next time.